Rhesusaya is a common long-term, chronic inflammatory disease that presents with recurrent flushing, erythema, superficial reddening of the skin, dilated skin blood vessels, skin lesion-like papules, or pustules on nose, chin, cheeks, and forehead. 50-75% to of patients with Rhesusaya have eye involvement with symptoms including dryness, redness, tearing, tingling burning sensation, fire and body sensation, light sensitivity, and blurred vision. In addition to the skin and eye symptoms, Rosacea can cause anxiety, embarrassment, and depression and can have a significant impact on the quality of life. Although Rosacea usually is limited to the skin, there is an association of with systemic comorbidities, such as neurologic diseases, inflammatory bowel disease, and cardiovascular diseases. The cause of Rosacea is unknown. Genetics, immune reaction, microorganisms, environmental factors, play its role. Ultraviolet exposure can be a trigger for rosacea. Risk factors include an exaggerative agents can be, heat, exercise, sunlight, cold, spicy food, alcohol, menopause, psychological stress, or steroid cream on the face. Diagnosis is based on symptoms. Among microorganisms, demodex might appear to play a role in rosacea. Helicobacter pylori is another organism with reported association with Rosacea. Rosacea affects females more than males, and is more commonly diagnosed in individuals with fair skin, affecting more than 10% of whites. Most cases of Rosacea are undiagnosed, because of its mild symptoms. Rosacea typically presents during adulthood, though it can rarely affect children. Rosacea presents with four different clinical subtypes. The erythematotelangiectatic subtype is characterized by prominent prolonged flushing reaction to various stimuli, such as emotional stress, hot drinks, alcohol, spicy foods, exercise, cold or hot weather, or hot baths and showers. In the papular pustular form, patients has papules and pustules on the face. This subtype looks like acne. But, Rosacea lacks comedones, helping to differentiate it from true acne. The fimitus subtype manifests with fibrosis and hypertrophy of sebaceous glands. It is typically seen on the nose of male patients, rhinophyma, but can also affect the cheeks, chin, and glabella. And last, ocular rosacea presents with tearing, dry eye, gritty sensation, pruritus, hordola, and blepharitis. Treatment While not curable, treatment usually improves symptoms. The first step in the treatment of rosacea is to advise the patient to identify and then avoid triggers such as UV light, spices, weather changes, and alcoholic beverages. General skin care is recommended, pH-balanced skin cleansers. Broad-spectrum sunscreen with SPF 30 or higher and regular use of moisturizers. Cosmetics containing green pigment are best for masking persistent erythema. Topical steroids should be avoided. Medications with good evidence include topical ivermectin and azelaic acid creams and brimonidine, and doxycycline and isotretinoin by mouth. Lesser evidence supports topical metronidazole cream and tetracycline by mouth. An ivermectin cream has been approved by the FDA, as well as in Europe, for the treatment of inflammatory lesions of rosacea.